Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create disappear effect like this. Today, I'm going to show you how to make yourself disappear in your jacket like this. So, uh, to create this effect, it's very simple. The first thing is uh, you need to film yourself in front of the camera. So, uh, remember to use a tripod. So, this is only a tripod for the smartphone, but I use a tripod for my camera. And uh, log it in one position. Then, put your camera on. Now, with my DSLR, I can set, the, you know, set it to manual mode. So, manual mode, uh, I can control the ISO and uh, shutter speed of the camera. So, be sure to turn your camera into manual mode so the light uh, will not change, the lighting condition remain unchanged. Okay, so that is first shot. And uh, you need to uh, use my jacket like this and throw your jacket up in the sky. And that is the first shot. So, the first shot, uh, you can see I'm standing there and, and throw my jacket up in the sky and then it covers my head. So that is the first shot and the second shot you need an empty shot at the same position so very simple just move uh, move yourself out of the frame and that's done okay and the second part let's go to editing software okay so here i am in Fimura 9 so this is a shot that i uh, i recorded and i i shot about 15 seconds without me in, in the frame so this is an empty shot and this is a shot uh, so this is an empty shot that we are going to use for the for the second clip on the timeline, okay? And let's drag and drop until I go into the frame there at this position, okay? Let's set an in point for that and uh, rub it on the timeline uh, like this, all right? And let's play the clip until I, until I find the position when I throw up the jacket and it's cover my head okay today I'm going to show you how to make yourself disappear in your jacket like this okay so right at this position we need to split the clip uh, let's split it here and delete the rest Uh, now we need an empty shot to connect with the first clip and uh, actually I still use the same same clip uh, so it is the same uh, this one let's play it and now uh, we have an empty shot here so we will set a in, new in point and then set a new out point here okay and then drag and drop that onto the timeline to connect with the first clip so that's basically basically it is done okay and let's see it That's it. So just, this is just a normal disappear effect uh, without transition. So now we are going to add another transition uh, to add a transition effect into the this, uh, this position, right? Uh, let's go to transition. And uh, I have uh, my evaporate one in my favorite, so I just uh, uh, drag and drop it on the timeline. But if you are uh, you don't have this transition in your favorite, then let's go to include it and then search here. If, uh, yeah, there's two guys here. So uh, first, uh, this is the transition you need. So let's drag and drop it at the position uh, between two clips. Okay, remember to change the duration of the transition. So now for this example, I select uh, 12. So it's just a uh, millisecond or something like that. It's some yeah, millisecond, 10, 10, 12 millisecond. And like this and you can also uh, just drag and drop the uh, transition uh, at the edge of the transition here on the timeline to shorten the duration so it will be like this and then uh, the, the effect is already done okay and like this so of course I, I need to, uh, to add some sound effect but I'm not really good at sound effect and you just add some shrews and explosion or something but that is the first part and uh, in many other tutorial people people uh, people teach you about how to create uh, smoke disappear effect or fire disappear effect and that is when they 
they add more overlay uh, to this uh, position for example we can uh, go to the overlay and find some fire or smoke or something like that uh, in this position okay and let's go to elements uh, in the film stock folder right in the film stock folder this is a free uh, effect pack uh, that called martial art pack uh, so there's there are fire here and wind and uh, explosion so go ahead to download it it's free on film stock in film or night okay so we can select one for example i uh, select kung fu hard 2 for my example so let's just drag and drop it on the timeline and shorten it uh, to make it the same the same at the, the transition duration uh, right, let's see it let's see preview it I think it's, it's okay, right? So that is the how to create fire disappear effect in Pimora 9, okay? And how about smoke? Uh, we can uh, find here. Oh, Trista. Okay, let's run and drop it uh, down here. And let's turn off the fire. So we don't need to have fire. And let's play it. right so that's cool right and of course of course you if you want to make it uh, a little bit better you can also add a, another transition uh, here and there so we can go to transition and let's find this soul transition and add it to this position uh, and remember to shorten it and add it to another position and remember to shorten it okay and the same we can add a, a this whole transition here and shorten and here and shorten it so it will not appear suddenly okay and now we can uh, turn on the fire i think it's okay and of course you can do one thing more is color grading or color grading the overlay if you don't want to uh, to have the fire like this you can change the color by double click on the overlay and go to color and then maybe you reduce the saturation uh, increase the contrast and reduce the brightness and also you can also change the white balance also for example the temperature you can uh, drag it to the lab to make a, a cool cool overlay like this and also increase or reduce the tints so that is how to create a disappear effect in Fimura 9 I hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you have any question let me know in the comment section below thank you for very much for watching bye